Hi Taurus, what's up? Welcome to your love reading. Okay, that really ended well. Let's see. Okay, quickly, quickly. <clears throat> I am rushing the readings because then they get very long. Okay, the videos. All right. The sun here. The sun to me, yes, this is a very positive thing. Okay, the overall energy. But to me, this looks like some kind of illumination that you're going through. Okay, Taurus, there is some kind of truth that is being revealed. There is something that you are, that's being shed light on. Okay, there is something that you have a realization about. Okay, but this is a lot of growth, expansion, positivity, focusing on the positive. Okay, and uh, also if there was something that was hidden, right, it's all coming onto the light. Okay, for this end of Jan. Taurus with the page of pentacles here, pentacles here looks like a either you want to start something new okay or you're wanting to invest your energy into either a new business project a new career no goal whatever or this can be you wanting to invest into this person okay this is you wanting to initiate communication and taking action towards this person here this person with the six of swords here definitely this person has gone through a rocky road with you okay there's a lot of um those rocky waters and they finally are getting out of those rocky waters and wanting to move away from you is what i'm getting okay i feel this person is trying to walk away from you they're trying to stay away you know there is this kind of physical and mental distance that this person has created between you guys and all that i'm finding probably because of the sun here there's some kind of realization that this person has we'll see when i clarify six of pentacles in reverse in your feelings okay so you feel this person is just not giving you the attention you feel something is very one-sided or there is just something that's lacking balance out here either this is you who feels that this person is giving you the bare minimum okay or this could also be you thinking that this person is giving to two people okay all right but six of pentacles in reverse is definitely been taken advantage of okay that's how you feel this person with the knight of souls here, this person definitely feels the need to address a situation like right now. Okay, like right now. Uh, knight of souls, right? This is someone who's wanting to rush in and communicate. Okay, so we'll see. The clarifications can change the message. Mutual energy between you guys, king of wands in reverse here. You both are very passionate about each other, but you're both, your follow through is very weak. Okay, uh, you're both waiting for each other to make the first move and no one's doing it. Your action queen of pentacles in reverse here. You're definitely not investing into this person. Your focus, your career, your goals is everything that is on your mind right now, okay? Your, in, your energies are more inward, more private. You're focused on your own self, okay? Rather than focusing on the stability, security with this person, okay? So I feel you're very withdrawn. That's why I said that you're very focused on starting something new, okay? Uh, their action three of wands in reverse here. They're no more longer waiting, okay? So it looks like... For right now, it looks like they're no longer waiting for you to come towards them. I feel with the Knight of Swords here, they feel the need to address the situation now. Okay. So then if that is what it is, then with the clarification, probably the Six of Swords is them wanting to make a move towards you. Okay. They want to come out of uh, rocky waters. They want to get out of the turmoil and they want to get into a peaceful resolution with you. Okay. And they want to get into calmer waters with you. Wheel of Fortune as your likely outcome. So yes, Taurus, there is something that's going on in your favor. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune, luck is on your side. There's going to be a positive change, growth and expansion. Some positive change within the relationship. Okay. <clears throat> Lady luck is on your side, baby. All right. Tell me why is the sun here as the overall energy for Taurus? Okay, Ten of Swords with the Seven of Wands in, hope you can see that. Ten of Swords with the Seven of Wands in reverse and the Chariot in reverse here. There is someone here who's just not taking control of the situation, okay? Someone's lost control of the situation here and there is someone here who feels very backstabbed and betrayed and there is a kind of realization that they cannot win this battle here. I feel someone tried to protect this relationship for a very long time, okay? But they lost control of the situation and now they feel very backstrap and there is an, a very painful ending to something. But there is an ending out here, okay? With the sun here. But along with that, there is some kind of realization. I feel this is you, Taurus, okay? There is some kind of realization that you have, okay? And this realization could be that this was something that was overthinking, overanalyzing. You were probably going nuts about this person here, okay? You were probably playing the victim here, okay? And you tried your best probably 
uh, to hold on to the situation, but you couldn't. Okay, so you're finally giving up. And uh, with the chariot in reverse, you're probably distance could be a very big issue between you guys. Okay, or this person is just not taking control of the situation and you feel you alone cannot do this. Okay, so you're letting it go. Uh, tell me about the page of pentacles. Why is this on Taurus's mind? Okay, so Taurus, you definitely have a lot of love for this person with the four of swords, two of pentacles and the two of cups here. There is the sense of balance that you want, okay? But I feel that you are still thinking about wanting to make a move towards this person or wanting to invest into this person, okay? You have it in your intentions. It is on your mind here, but I think you're doing a lot of thinking right now, okay? You're, you want this relationship with this person, okay? Because there is a lot of love, okay? You know this person loves you, you love them too. But again, there's a lot of contemplation, okay? You're still not being able to make up your mind. There's indecision of whether you want to go ahead and make the first move or you're going to wait for them to come towards you. Tell me about the six of swords here. I hate this card. Give me one more card, please, for the Six of Swords. Yeah, so you're definitely the kind of person that you're dealing with, right? This is definitely someone who's emotionally very, very closed off to you, okay? So this person could be someone who was emotionally never involved in the relationship, although they felt a very strong soul tie connection to you. They feel a disconnection to you, okay? And with the Five of Swords here, I feel this person has a lot of regret, okay that you walked away okay you you're the one who's probably walked away from the mind games from the mind fuckery okay you really feel fucked with because this person was someone who is emotionally unavailable okay this could be someone who has trust issues and someone who is probably even um not who's someone who doesn't feel very safe or very comfortable opening up could be dealing with someone emotionally manipulative also okay but they want forward moment. I think with the five of swords here, uh, I also feel that this could be someone who's very determined to move towards you, okay? Very determined. Like they want to win under any cost, okay? So yeah, I like the determination, but the five of swords is the card of where I will do what it takes, okay? Even if I'm emotionally closed off, okay? Even if I feel disconnected from this person or even if I'm not emotionally involved with this person, I still want this person back, okay? Uh, tell me why is the king of wands in reverse here as the mutual energy? Sure. You both want this brand new beginning with each other, okay? With the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands, but both in reverse. So you both want to talk to each other like yesterday. You could have messaged each other and spoken to each other yesterday, okay? It's that sense of urgency to confront the situation. But one, you're both not taking action. You both want a brand new beginning. And second, you're both very, very closed off emotionally, okay? None of you want to be vulnerable. You're both in the sense of very a lot of depression. There is a lot of potential that you, you, or at least one of you saw more in this relationship, but there is this sense of being shut down, okay? Not wanting to open up. Tell me uh, about the Knight of Swords. What is this Knight of Swords? tower star in reverse give me one more card and the high priestess in reverse um <clears throat> definitely with the tower the star in reverse and the high priestess in reverse here right so this person has had a huge um epiphany is what i'd say okay there's a huge realization okay something's come through them very unexpectedly which is making them lose faith and hope that things will ever be okay you know, yes, they are having a hard time trusting their intuition here. But I feel there is some kind of conversation. If this person was very shut off, they're wanting to come towards you and communicate only because they have the fear, okay? And fear of losing you. I think that's why they're in this rush of wanting to communicate with you with the Knight of Swords here. This person wants to talk now. See how they're sharpening their sword, right? Like, I need to talk to this person, okay? Like, something needs to be addressed. Only because with the Tower here, there's this huge realization, you know, is what I'd say. Unexpectedly, something happened and they've had the realization where, you know, like, I need to talk to Taurus right now before things get out of hand. And this person's ready to talk to you now. If this person was holding back, not communicating, giving you the silent treatment, they're finally coming in towards you. 
they're losing a lot of hope and faith okay they, they, they don't have a very positive mindset when it comes to you they, they are doubting themselves that they can make it happen with you because you feel the six of pentacles in reverse which means you feel that this was a very one-sided situation okay and you always got the bare minimum or there was just no investment from their sides uh tell me about the three of wands in reverse tell me about the three of wands in reverse Three of Wands in reverse. Wow. Six of Wands in reverse, Knight of Cups, and the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. They know that you are that wish fulfillment, okay? You make them very, very happy. But again, there is this sense of failure here, you know? They're very fed up of investing into this energy, okay? With the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, they're just not moving. There's a lot of stagnant energy. They're not even taking any steps towards you. And they're, they're fed up and tired of waiting, okay, with the three of wands in reverse here. They are. Because they're waiting probably for you to come towards you, but there's no momentum from your side, okay? So it looks like um, the action that they'll take is nothing. They're just not taking any action towards you because they're giving up. Nine of cups here, probably this person is very focused on their happiness also, okay, at the same time. But when it comes to their self-confidence, okay, they feel very neglected by you, undervalued, unappreciated, because of which this person is just not taking any action towards you, okay? Uh, tell me about the wheel of fortune. Why is this the outcome here? Why is the outcome here the wheel of fortune? One more card, please. Okay. Got two cards. Okay. Um, Wheel of Fortune, Page of Swords in reverse, Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords. Okay, we have two queens here. I feel you're finally going to get communication from this person, okay, for the last time here. This is someone who sees you as marriage material, okay? This is definitely someone who has a lot of respect for you. And this is definitely someone here who wants to put in the work, okay? To make things happen with you. And they're coming to clearly communicate with you about what they want. However, the page of swords in reverse here, I feel that there's this immature energy of where you're watching this person. Taurus, I do feel this is you. You're watching this person, right? But when it comes to taking that action, you're still not doing that. Or this could also be you completely ignoring their communication here. So I feel that's why luck is on your side with the Wheel of Fortune. There are positive changes coming in because of these three things, okay? The communication is coming in, okay? They're going to be very clear about what they want. They're going to have that very candid communication. No bullshit out here, okay? They're ready to put in their 100% because with the Queen of Pentacles, this person does want something very solid and very committed to you. This is going to be the outcome, okay? But with the Page of Swords in reverse here is my problem here, okay? Um, I feel you have nothing to say to this person. I don't know why. I just feel you have nothing to say to this person when this person comes in. I do. Why is, this, why is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse? Because look the action that you're taking. You're so focused on yourself. Why is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse here? See? See? See what I'm saying? Eight of Wands in reverse. Sun in reverse. Seven of Cups. This person keeps you so... You've released them. You let go of this person you were holding on to so tight. You're, you're purposely stopping, blocking communication. You're holding back, okay, communication because there is a lack of clarity here with the sun in reverse. Something's just not come to light. You're not having a hard time trying to focus on the positive aspect of this relationship and very focused on the negative part, okay? And with the seven of cups, it looks like either you're keeping your options open or you're keeping an open mind. Doesn't mean you have options, okay? But it just means that you're keeping a very open mind, you know? You're not very stuck in, you're not narrowing down your options to only this person, okay? You're just wanting to be very open and free not being very restricted to this person so that's what i have for you okay so i feel it's all gonna turn out well it's gonna be in your favor regardless of what happens okay regardless of what happens it's still gonna turn out in your favor taurus all right so that's what i have for you i hope this reading resonates with you leave your comments below like share subscribe and i will see you next time bye bye time bye bye